kind of color with which William Wellman, who gave you the high and the mighty, paints vigorous new personalities on the majestic canvas of the high Sierra's drifting snows and shifting shadows. For here are people with every emotion bared, tossed together in a wind-whipped wilderness, prisoners of the storm that rages about them, captives of the human storm that wells within them, living in the shadow of fear cast by a giant black panther, a prowling killer cat that leaves in his track the same lust and tameless passions that mark all their lives. Well, I've got the proper medicine for that cat. A 30-30 slug right between the eyes. There was Kurt, the hunter, who wanted the cat in his sights, but whose aim was blurred by the vision of his brother's woman. Gwen, who stalked her prey with the guile and cunning of the devil cat, but used a woman's weapon. What do you want? Isn't there anything you want enough to ask for? Harold, who found strength in her embrace. Joe Sam, a hundred years of primitive hate, ready to erupt in a moment of violence. Grace, who lived with the ghost of a love that could never be. Mrs. Bridges, whose house of lies was beginning to crumble. This house is rotten with the gods you've made, yours and Kurt's, with pride and money and greed. I'm telling you how it's going to be. How is it going to be? If it wasn't for me, there wouldn't be any valley. Wouldn't be any stock. The cats would have it all. Indians would have it. You'd have given it back to them a long time ago. 